Hello guys, Andy here and welcome back to a new video. I have the Lino Legion 5i here. In this video, I'll talk about everything that you need to know. Without further delay, let's get started with the specifications. First and most important, the device comes with i7-10750H. This is Intel's 10th generation H series processor. And H series processor, just in case if you do not know, means that they will give you the best possible performance in a laptop. And i7-10750H is definitely not a slouch with six cores, six threads. It definitely performed really good in gaming, not just gaming, but editing uh, okay wait why am i talking about the performance but we'll talk about that in the later part of this video in detail obviously the laptop also has 16 gb of ram 1 tb of hard disk 256 gb of ssd to keep your windows uh as this is a gaming laptop it comes with 1650 ti at least the variant that i have comes with 1650 ti now let's talk about the unboxing experience which was pretty straightforward i would say in the box you will get the laptop then you'll get the charger. You'll also get the M300 gaming RGB mouse. And this mouse is definitely something which uh, performed very good, much better than we expected it to be. As this was provided with the laptop, you were like, maybe it will be just okay-ish mouse, but it, it turned out to be really good mouse. Like this, that's something which I can definitely use with my desktop as well. Plus, you're not going to play games with your trackpad, like playing CSGO or Valorant with a trackpad is, I mean, do it, you will need a lot of skills in order to do that. If you, if you do that, then do let me know about that in the comment section box below. But providing a mouse is a great step and the mouse performed really good. You also get manuals inside the box and after unboxing the laptop, I first updated everything, windows, drivers, everything was updated and then the laptop was set up completely. Now let's talk about the ports because there are plenty of them. One USB port on the left side with headphone jack. On the right side, we have another USB port. On the back side, we have a LAN port, USB type C port, two more USB A ports, one full size HDMI port. Then we also have the charging port on the back side and having ports at the back side is a different design which Lenovo has. And uh, that's something which I really appreciated because you don't have that clutter on your side. It's everything at the back. And if you have a table like me, then all the cables are at the back and I can't really see those cables because there is display in front of me and everything looks clutter free. Now let's talk about the weight and thickness, 2.3 kgs for a gaming laptop is definitely not heavy and it doesn't feel that heavy as well. I can easily carry this around to play games from hall to bedroom or bedroom to hall. Now let's talk about the thickness. I personally found that this gaming laptop, usually gaming laptops are thicker, work laptops without a graphics card will always be thinner as compared to gaming laptops. And this one is thick, but not too thick in my opinion for a gaming laptop once again. And considering if you make a gaming laptop too thin, the thermal performance might be compromised. And here are some benchmarks that we did on the Lenovo Legion 5i. The Intel 10th generation i7-10750H, Oh my God, Asus, all these benchmarks, uh, single core performance is really good. Multi-core performance is also good. The six core i7-10750H was uh, easy to play around with in games and uh, in uh, editing, but it not just that, it was able to perform really good in benchmarks as well. And here are the hard disk and SSD speed tests that we did on this particular laptop. Now talking about the keyboard and trackpad. Trackpad is smooth. It's very easy to navigate. If as this is a gaming laptop, as I said, if you do gaming, you're going to use a mouse while editing as well. We prefer to use a mouse. I personally any day prefer to use a mouse, but uh, if you decide to use the trackpad for typing or just uh, doing regular stuff, then it works super fine. The keyboard on this laptop is a full size one, meaning you get a separate numpad. The keyboard is backlit, arrow keys are big. This is a welcome change, even though we usually use WASD, but for a lot of applications like browsing through Chrome or something like that, you cannot use WASD to grow up or go down. You have to use these buttons and arrow keys are big and that's a huge plus point. Shift key, caps lock key and the backspace key are also big on this keyboard. That's something which I always appreciate on a gaming laptop or any laptop for that matter. No major bloatware is installed on the laptop, only one antivirus software and the Lenovo Vantage software. Lenovo Vantage is not a bloatware. That's a really helpful application. And uh, as we are talking about Lenovo Vantage application, let's let me show you some of the features. First one, uh, it has, it will show you how much CPU is being used, how much RAM is being used and how much GPU is being used. As you can see, the laptop has a 4GB graphics card. Then on the right side, you can see thermal mode. Currently, it's set to balance 
performance. You can change it from here to performance mode. And we tested our majority, if not 90 plus percent of the stuff on performance mode, network boost, auto close, hybrid mode, touchpad lock, all these options are here. And in the quick setting, you can see that rapid charge option is there. 170 watt charger is bundled with the laptop. And as the laptop comes with a 60 watt hour battery, the battery life performance, I would say was not really the best. And on a gaming laptop, I don't really expect it to last for five, six hours just on battery that did that obviously won't happen. We played games at maximum brightness at high performance with uh, maximum settings possible in the game. And we were able to get about one hour to one hour 30 minutes of gaming session out of this. When it comes to editing with Adobe Premiere Pro, the same amount of time was possible. So when it comes to battery life for gaming and video editing, one to one and a half hours is something which you should expect if you use uh, balanced mode or power saving mode with lower brightness, then you can easily get to three, three and a half hours of screen on time on this particular laptop. Gaming laptop, eh, we were using high performance mode all the time to get the best performance out of it. Rapid charge means you can charge the device rapidly. Obviously it's disabled by default. If you want to charge it faster, simply enable it. It will, it will get your laptop from let's say 20% to 100% in about 35 minutes, which is very fast. Wi-Fi security, then we have Dolby Audio, which I obviously enabled. Dolby Audio makes a great difference in my opinion. Then we also have options of uh, system update, power, media, hardware, scan, which are basic options and uh, pretty self-explanatory in my opinion. Now let's talk about the cooling and noise. With four vents, two on the side and two on the back, the cooling is really good with this laptop as if uh, that was not enough. There is one huge vent at the bottom and you can see these two fans here as well. Fan stayed considerably quiet for a gaming laptop, but was slightly noticeable. But this is definitely on a better side of things. Even after all this, the CPU did reach a temperature of 90 plus degrees on some occasions while testing heavy games like RDR2 on maximum settings possible. But a prolonged session of Valorant of almost two hours, like two and a half hours with medium or high settings did not let the CPU cross 90 degrees mark and CPU was comfortably sitting anywhere between 80 to 90 degrees. Center part of the keyboard did feel slightly warm to touch and was about 40 to 42 degrees Celsius. But the WASD key part was considerably cooler, which is important because you have your left hand on the WASD keys. The palm rest area did not become warm and it was almost at the room temperature which is a plus point for the laptop. So when it comes to cooling and heating or noise, I would say one of the best in this particular price segment with this particular CPU, obviously with heavy games, AAA titles, it is going to reach that 90 degrees Celsius mark. Uh, when it comes to fan noise, definitely you can notice those, but it's not disturbingly loud in my opinion. If you have a fan in your room, then you may not even notice that. If you have an AC, which doesn't make as much noise as a fan, then you will be able to notice that the fans are running on the laptop when you're doing heavy tasks like uh, video editing or gaming. Now let's talk about the gaming performance and FPS. Very good gaming performance in my opinion with Intel's 10 Gen i7-10750H. Obviously this six core beast performed really good with GTX 1650 Ti. Intel's 10 gen processors and that too i7-10750H obviously never bottlenecked and the GPU being 1650 Ti, I did not even expect it to bottleneck. Even if you pair this processor with one of the highest end cards like 2080 Max-Q, it will still not bottleneck and it will perform really good. And this is interesting because you can only get 2080 Max-Q graphics card in a laptop with Intel i7-10750H or Intel's uh, 10 generation i9 processors. This is something uh, you must have learned after watching this video. Now talking about the eSport titles such as CSGO or Valorant, these titles will be able to utilize the 120Hz refresh rate fully because they give you more than 120 FPS very easily even on the maximum settings possible.
I did not talk about the display panel. So let me talk about that. This is a 120 hertz refresh rate IPS panel and the viewing angles are really good. When you use basic windows or uh, use Chrome browser, you will be able to notice that 120 hertz refresh rate display. And when you set it to 120 hertz, feels very smooth uh, moving to a 60 hertz laptop or the 60 hertz monitor i definitely notice that it's not 120 hertz because it's so good in as i said with csgo or valorant you will be able to utilize that completely with games like gta 5 or rdr2 these are heavy games i would say getting 60 to 100 fps is possible depending on the settings uh, i obviously showed you the settings that we were using while showing the fps on this laptop. Overall, I would say I was really happy with the gaming performance of this laptop. Now let's talk about the Premiere Pro editing experience that we had with the laptop and we had a lot of that and you will see a time lapse of so many videos right now because we edited so many videos on the laptop. We have two desktops where me and Sujay edit and Aryan was editing on this laptop with 4K videos, 1080p 60fps videos and with timelines where uh, one single video was being played no issues whatsoever. Two 1080p 60fps videos or one 4k 25fps video and then 1080p 60fps video, the laptop with its i7 10750H and this 6 core beast was able to handle it very well. The performance was very good for a laptop I would say. Not just that, when it comes to 4k 60fps videos and another 4k 25fps videos, two videos at the same time on a timeline, then the laptop struggled a little bit because the two 4k videos is something which I would say uh, for a laptop little bit too much and that too with a 1650 Ti graphics card. If you want better performance, Lenovo Legion 7i with higher end graphics card is also available. If you use uh, softwares like DaVinci Resolve, then 2080 Max-Q will be utilized completely by DaVinci Resolve. We tested everything on the Premiere Pro. And as this laptop comes with Intel's 10th generation processor, i7 10750H also means that Intel Quick Sync support is present, meaning rendering videos will be faster because of the Quick Sync support. Make sure while uh, rendering the video, select hardware encoding in the Premiere Pro. If you use Premiere Pro, you definitely know what I'm talking about. I would say for the laptop at the price of 90,000 rupees, it definitely performed really good, more than what we expected uh, with the 1650 Ti graphics card and i7 10750H definitely did not disappoint. Let's talk about the design and build quality. I somehow forgot about it. Even though it doesn't come with RGB backlit keyboard or RGB logo in the front, it definitely gets an A in design because it looks classy. Even after being a gaming laptop, this is something you can uh, easily trick your colleagues into thinking it, it is a work laptop. Even though after looking at the Legion uh, branding, they'll, they'll realize that it is a gaming laptop. The palm rest area feels good to touch and is anti-fingerprint. There is no major flex in the keyboard, but the display part, oh my God. I can I can do this with the display. Uh, there was a lot of flex. This is something which you should definitely note. And the display can go to 180 degrees. As you can see over here, 2.3 kg weight means I can uh, lift it very easily. And you can open it with one hand. Second hand is here. I only have two hands as you can see. Can be opened close. Now this is the video being recorded from the front camera itself and this is how it looks. Obviously not the best uh, video quality performance. Uh, <laughs> I was definitely expecting a little bit better at least 720p like it should have looked like HD. Uh, there are too many grains even though the lighting conditions I would say are pretty good as you can see in the video over here. They are good, right? I look good. But on the laptop, I don't look that great. You can definitely attend Zoom meetings or basic work calls from by using this camera. At least this gaming laptop comes with a webcam. Uh, other gaming laptops do not even come with a webcam. Uh, and in pandemic, this, this small thing made so much difference. The webcam on the laptop can be covered with a physical switch. So what's the conclusion? Being a gaming laptop, it is supposed to perform good in gaming and it excels in gaming with its Intel 10th generation i7 10750H processor and the 1650 Ti graphics card at the price tag of 90,000 rupees. Uh, that was something which we expected and it delivered. When it comes to content creation, editing videos can be done very easily. As the display is really good and colors are really nice, doing Photoshop work or doing Premiere Pro work, uh, color correction work basically is also possible. Plus the design is overall very well. Uh, I was expecting less of a flex in the display and the battery life of 1 to 1.5 hours is because of the 60 watt hour battery which is pre-included. If Lenovo would have included let's say 80 or 90 watt hour battery, we would have been able to hit let's say 2 hour of gaming sessions with the battery itself without keeping it on charge. But you are supposed to keep the laptop on charging to get the best performance, uh, gaming performance out of the laptop. One thing which definitely disappointed me about this laptop is the speaker quality. Two 2 watt speakers 
are not enough. Definitely not enough. I feel like my Galaxy S20 Plus or uh, even the iPhone 11 or ROG Phone 3 can produce louder sound as compared to the laptop itself. I mean, the laptop, I mean, the sound quality is good, but it's not loud enough. On a gaming laptop, if you're doing going to do a lot of gaming sessions, then obviously you're going to use headphones. But if you prefer to use speakers, then the speakers on this laptop will definitely leave you expecting a little bit more out of it. So overall, at the price tag of about 90,000 rupees, the laptop is definitely a very good choice with its uh, six core beast, the i7 10750 h and the 1650 Ti graphics card. One uh, grudge that I have is that the laptop was priced at 95,000 rupees just a week back. In the sale, it is available for 89,000 rupees. So if Leno could uh, reduce the pricing just a bit like 85 or 80,000 rupees, it would make it a clear winner in my opinion. I would also recommend you to check out offline stores if you are getting this laptop exact this variant for about 85, 80 to 85,000 rupees. It's an instant buy. If you want to buy this laptop, the link is present in the description box below. If you still have any more doubts, sessions or queries regarding this laptop, you can uh, ask them in the comment section box below or you can tweet it to me at the underscore underscore tech. So yeah, thank you guys. Oh wait, if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified next time I upload a video like this one. So yeah, thank you guys. Thank you for watching.